What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching today, baby. Ooh, baby. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about Suboxone and Kratom and also sex drive, right? So TMI for some people, but there are many people out there who I speak with on this channel that struggle with these issues from both of these substances. So we're going to go ahead and talk about it here. So if you are a man, and I need to back up a little bit. So what's the disclaimer here, guys? I always forget it now. <laughs> Remember guys, I'm not a doctor. Nothing on this channel is medical advice. If you're struggling with addiction, please seek out your own medical doctor. Um, this channel is for entertainment purposes only and for me to share my experience with you. All right. So I have plenty of experience with Kratom and with Suboxone, buprenorphine products. I also have experience with opiate addiction in my past, right? Oxys up to 150, 200 milligrams a day. Um, my addiction ended in 2017 when I found Suboxone and got clean from opiates and I've been clean ever since then. Okay. So that's kind of a mouthful. All right. So I have experience definitely with having issues as far as sexually, sexual side effects. Right. Um, and that comes in the form of lack of, uh, interest in sex and also, uh, lack of performance with that and also a delayed finishing we'll just say right for pg-13 purposes <laughs> so all three of those things are true with all of these products that i'm talking about kratom suboxone opiates fentanyl all this stuff guys can create massive issues with the sex department so if you're a man out there and you're struggling with any issues that i just mentioned I really do suggest that you um, seek professional help, have your testosterone numbers checked because this stuff will kill your testosterone levels, guys. Kill it. And the higher the dose of Kratom or Suboxone or whatever you're on, the more of an effect it directly it's going to have on your testosterone, therefore your sex drive, right? Um, and it's not, another thing too I wanted to mention that it's not just your um, testosterone levels, like, like, how do I say this? So there are some instances where some people can still have high testosterone or they've taken supplemental testosterone and they're still having these issues. So what do I mean by that guys? So I mean that just, just having the right testosterone levels in your body is not the cure all for this. However, it can help greatly when talking about these things that we're talking about guys. So get with your doctor, check your testosterone, manage your addiction as best you can. And when you think about tapering in the future, when the time is right, just know that that will help the issues get better as you're tapering. And then finally, when you get off whatever substance you're on, that will definitely help things regular, uh, normalize. And it should be, you, typically what happens is when you come off of these medications, you're overly sensitive and overly stimulated and things finish, let's just say, really fast, right? Because you're super sensitive now because you're not numb down there. So it has to do with numbing of your junk or your body or you know what, and it also has to do with your testosterone levels. And I'm sure there's some other scientific stuff behind it as well, but it's mainly those two things that cause the issue. In my personal opinion, guys, just from the experience that I had, honestly, I think that Kratom had the worst sexual side effects for me personally. Um, that being said, I have heard some people say that it was Suboxone or it's fentanyl or opiates. Like it's going to be different for everybody. We're all going to have different experiences. But for me personally, whenever I took Kratom, it was like not even on the table for the night for me. It was like shut down. I am shut down. Right. So just something for you guys that are using Kratom to think about. Um, I definitely just want to make sure that you all know that if you're maybe having a lack of desire, it's likely not that you're not attracted to your partner. And I want the ladies to hear this from a man too, because I've had some beautiful girlfriends in my life and still a major lack of interest in them, even on, even in like a shorter term relationship, right? Where I was, we were still in the honeymoon phase and it was a beautiful, beautiful uh, girlfriend of mine, right? And still, there were still lack of, um, there was lack of per performance, you could say, right? Or desire, both, right? I've had issues of both. So 
Um, another thing I want to mention to you guys is that you can, as far as like a band-aid for this issue, you can get Viagra or Cialis. It's very cheap to get generic uh, Viagra nowadays. It's like less than a dollar a tablet, I believe, even if you don't have insurance. Um, just a quick side note is that Cialis has, has a much longer half-life. So if say you're going on vacation with your wife or your girlfriend, you would probably want to take Cialis. That way you can only take it You'll need to take it once per like weekend and it'll, it'll cover you for the whole weekend. But for me personally, if as long as I'm not on like a vacation with somebody or whatever, I would prefer um, Viagra because of the shorter half-life. I like to be able to have it work when I want it to work and then to go away when I, I want it to go away, right? So I don't want to be doing this in my sleep. And that's usually what would happen whenever I tried Cialis in the past, right? Because of the longer half-life. So... Hopefully this gives you gentlemen some tips, um, tricks, maybe another thing too to think about is if let's say you're on Suboxone, right? And you knew you were going to be with your wife that night, you could try to take a lower dose for the day, or you could try to take the dose earlier in the morning. And then what that's going to do is that's going to make the dose not be so effective by the time you get to that night, right? So that would usually help me is if you can kind of try to plan ahead with that stuff. Um, that will help if you either lower your dose for the day, in my opinion, or if you take your dose earlier in the day. And definitely don't be taking this stuff like two, three hours before um, playtime, right? Because that's going to cause you the most issues because your blood plasma levels are going to be at the highest shortly after you take these medications. So if you guys have any questions, if I miss anything, if you guys have any comments to help other people out with these, uh, the fellas, if you have anything, suggestions to help the fellas out. Please drop them some comments. Um, please hit that like and subscribe button if you guys want to see the uh, Wednesday live streams. We go live every Wednesday. So hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.